pleased to meet you. Hello, 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 hello. How are we doing, my friends? Welcome on in. What is going on? Happy Tuesday. Oh, we don't do this often. Oh my gosh, we don't do this often. Hi, how y'all doing today? Oh, it's good to see y'all out here. Hello, hello, hello. English only in chat, my friends. Please help me and the mods keep this a safe and welcoming place. And unfortunately, the only thing that we all understand is English. So thank you so very much. But hi. Angel, thanks so much for the nine months at tier two. I do. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. 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 Cute little rainbow. How you doing? Oh my gosh. Chaotic William. What's going on, my dude? Cyber Gamer. How we doing? Randy. What's up? Lily. How we doing? Jillian. Welcome to. Nice to meet welcome you. Welcome to Flip Fan Tier One. That's what the message says. <laughs> thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Jordan, how you doing? I thought today was Wednesday at first because of the stream. No, I've got so much work to do in a hardcore video, and I started it yesterday. Spent four hours, and I was like, mm, uh, mm, I need to talk to people while doing this, otherwise I will go nice insane. To meet you. Unfortunate K, thank you so very much for being here. How you doing? Good to see you. Cute little rainbow with the ten months. Thank you so very much. I do appreciate that. Uh, Ties, what's going on? Finally able to watch a stream. How you doing? Eggs, good to see you. What's going on? What's going on? How we doing? Emmy, hello, hello. Mampy, how you doing? Uh, we got Femk. Fem? I don't know how to say that. Looseman. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. Ducks, thanks so much for the donut, my dude. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like the stream. Exactly, Brenna. Exactly. If you have not already, my friends, leave a like on the stream. Helps me out a bunch with getting the word out there and getting some more people onto the channel. So I really do appreciate you helping the community grow a little bit further. Armip, how you doing? A little ghost spooky. What's going on? Great name for the season. Lizasaurus, happy Tuesday right back to you. How you doing today? Happy Tuesday, everybody. What are we doing today? As the title says, we're exploding the nether. The chain. <laughs> oh, wow. That's early. <laughs> Uh, Akiko, uh, Akiko Key. I think I got that one right this time. Uh, thank you so very much for the 10 gift memberships. You are insane. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Holy cow. I really do appreciate that. Thank you so very much. Two seconds later, a thousand people in here. I know. Oh my gosh. Not even 500 likes. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> Exploding the end wasn't m enough. We need more. Okay. So, so I've decided my next hardcore video, I was thinking about building on the city. And then I was like, you know what I really want? You know what I really want to build this city and just make it go just that much more over the top? Lamps. Not lanterns. I need lamps. And if y'all know a lamp in Minecraft requires a nether star to craft it. So therefore exploding the nether to get nether stars to make lamps. I need street lamps, okay? It's very important. Also, I'm out of coal and my bone meal farm broke again. So this hits all three things. We get coal, we get lamps, we get bones. That's three problems that I have in this world that we're gonna sort. Yes, I need my street lamps, leave me alone. <laughs> so it's gonna be great, it's Pleased gonna to be meet great. You. Bo, how you doing? He's really ill. Oh, I hope you feel better, my friend. I hope you feel better. Profi Sloth with the 10 months. I too like lamps, I like lamp. Lamp is nice. Oh my gosh. Got a gifted membership, Bastion. There you go. Slime blocks, how you doing? Won't be good to see you. You know you can make ENX04 Wither Skelly Farms. So, yes, you can. 
enx04 uh, i gave him a shout out a few weeks ago very much stand by everything he's doing but i've decided the way that i want to make farms in my minecraft world is something that i can explain to you using the enx04 wither skeleton farm design you have to install mods to look at the bounding boxes to pick very specific locations of building these things that you really have to study the technical side to understand whereas if we create a perimeter i can easily say mobs spawn on blocks i removed blocks i put blocks back where i wanted blocks where the nether fortress once was and therefore wither skeletons spawn that way i kind of very easily and simply can just explain how it functions so that's the goal that i'm going for here um but that's kind of that's where i'm at that's where i'm at mob spawn on blocks no blocks no mobs put blocks back where you want mobs you get mobs yeah wither skeletons only spawn on wither roses put wither roses all other mobs gone yeah ha, big brain big big brain do you have an official merch site i do not i don't actually have any merch out right now uh i'm actually talking with a company about potentially doing something soon uh but we'll see we'll see i i want to make sure it can happen before the holidays and if not i'm gonna hold off a little longer but we'll see we'll see smart very smirt hey, yeah, i'm very do you smart have an official merch site uh john's maybe in the future thank you for the donor though i do appreciate that thank you thank, thank you big big brain yeah go speak you got it you got it genius i know i know my name is hard to pronounce i'm from the netherlands i was in amsterdam for about 12 hours i definitely want to go back and i actually really would love to see more of the netherlands so i'll be i'll be back in your lands one day it'd be i it was beautiful flying over and everything oh it's a beautiful country oop new merch take my money potentially potentially we'll see don't forget about the spawn borders for the withers Oh, for like the wither withers or the wither skeletons the withers we're just gonna go to the end and kill inside of the tree i'm hoping <laughs> we'll see next empire's episode yeah it's gonna be a good one it'll be out soon I, i've been working on it all week and then i was like i need a break to just go do something more chill uh which brings us to here but my friends leave a like on the stream if you have not already we got almost 1400 people in here and 600 likes so i really would appreciate it but Welcome to the nether. Doesn't it look so nice and peaceful and empty up here? Oh, it's great. Let's get ourselves some rockets because I need rockets. We ever do a watermill build? We got a watermill on the back of the um, lumber mill right now, but like I would love to do more watermill things like that. I think it'd be fun. It's Welcome real. to the nether. Electric check is good. Build? love the series yeah we'll see about doing some watermill stuff right now what i've been exploding is all the way up here i've been digging this this is half of what i have to dig you see where are the ch torches there's the torches i need to go this same amount of space that way <laughs> so i'm i'm halfway i'm halfway on the digging but we're not gonna dig today because that's boring so um let me just dodge and weave take out the skelly den gonna go put all this gross netherrack in my inventory and we gotta dig down to there there to there so all of this needs to get removed but what we're working on here now i've been digging a lot i've been i've been doing a lot of digging a lot of digging it's over in this corner i think no that corner that corner i already started over here have you seen Looney's Nether Hub? Uh, his first season I saw where he built the big castle, that thing was absurd. Very, very cool. Uh, I've not seen if he's doing anything in his new season. I haven't really kept up too much with what Looney's got going on. I know he built the mountain, and I was just like, homie, you just started that world. Okay, so <laughs> this, this is what I'm working on. The way that we do this that's not a good example uh boom 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 right now i'm working on flossing out the netherrack in the ceiling because it's going to look a billion times better than if i don't do it so we've just we've got lots of explosions to do today <laughs> this way i eventually i might make unbreaking mending 
flint and steel. I, I think we're approaching the point where that would make sense to do. So we'll see. But I need to get all the TNT up here because otherwise if we have this netherrack in here, it's going to look so gross and I'm going to hate it from down below. But like little spots like this, we can come back in and manually clear. So we're kind of, it's a Hi, chill Flint. nether explodey day. Will you ever do build tutorials? Uh, Bailey, thank you so much for the dono. I've the done build tutorials in the past, the and to be like honest, two thousand day hardcore problems. I like exploding the end for lamps. Either way, I'm excited to be here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We gotta explode the end. I don't really enjoy recording tutorials, so I don't really do them. I've done some in the past. I tried doing some when I started this hardcore season, and I just didn't enjoy the process of it. And I found myself like really just feel it it very much felt like work <laughs> so i just don't really re i don't enjoy recording them so and it, they just take a long time to get done right so I, i'm not sure if i'll do many build tutorials if something one-off comes up that looks cool that i want to show y'all i'll do it but I, i'm not really a tutorial guy so i hope i hope that's okay <laughs> ah! Don't have any Minecraft friends. Oh, I'm sorry, my friend. You can you go find some small servers to play on. You can get plenty of people to hang out with. There's um, so many Minecrafters out there that are all looking for people to play with. So I'm sure you can find somebody to hang. You already made a tutorial for the starter house in this very world? I did, yeah. And that's those were pain. I really did not enjoy recording those. <laughs> It's just one of those things where it takes so many hours for me to make a tutorial video that I could instead put that towards making a main channel video and they'll do they'll get more views if that makes sense. So like my my channel is really not based around tutorials. So putting that hours in there unfortunately is a much smaller Pleased audience. To meet you. So from a business side, like it doesn't really make sense for me to do that if I'm trying to keep growing the channel. Jeez. Rough one. The cool part about once we get all this in place up here and all of this netherrack cleared out is I can then put beacons going up inside this area as we need because it can go through bedrock. It just can't go through the netherrack. So we can get lamps in the nether. Nether lamps. Allie, thank you so much for the 10 months. I do appreciate that. If you can count Twitch, it's basically been a full year. <laughs> hey, but you get a cool tree over here now. Huh? 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 <laughs> I do want to get some more Twitch streams going back again. That Overwatch one was really fun. I just got so busy right after I haven't been able to do anything. I'm kind of thinking now that the new WoW expansion's coming close. I don't know if anybody would want to watch me play WoW, but I'm trying to find an excuse to be able to play more WoW. So it's like, maybe I just stream it and hang out. It'd be very late night stuff though, probably. Pleased to meet you. Aha. Brand with the nine months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One month closer to a bigger tree. Dude, you're going to get the full one here soon. Three months to go. 75%. Catherine Valentine, thank you so very much. I want to start my own hardcore series, but I'm worried I'm going to die super early on and that I'll get bored. Uh, well, hardcore, thats I don't find it boring at all because you kind of got to keep paying attention. Otherwise, you do die. AKA how I died in season one and season two is I got comfortable. I want to start my own <laughs> hardcore series, but I'm worried I'm going to die um, super early on. To not die bored. super early on is live in a village. Smiley face. You can get full diamond armor before you even leave a village. So if you really want to play it super duper safe, you can just do everything you could ever need inside of the village and trade all the way up to diamond armor off of wheat or carrots or sticks. So you just never have to leave. Get into village, villager breeder it up, hang out there, put in a little bit of time, get your tool smiths, weapon smiths, armor smiths, everything. You get full diamond gear, you can get full enchants without even leaving. If you get lucky, you can get enough obsidian. I guess you have to go find a few diamonds, but you can get that in a village chest too if you're really lucky. That and obsidian, make your enchanting table, you're set. You never even have to leave. Full enchants from within a village. 
Are you ever going to come to visit the UK? Hoping to either next year or the year after is kind of what Sid and I have been roughly talking about. We don't have any concrete plans yet, but we really want to make it out. Just Especially after everybody came out here for the wedding. It was so fun that we'd love to have the chance to go visit them. So, definitely at one point. We will see, though. We will see. Ow. Hummy, I'm trying to explore the never. Leave me alone. Nope. Thank you. Yep. Nailed it. Hello, Whippy. Hi, Ru. How you doing? What about Canada? I go up to Canada before COVID. We were in Canada once or twice a year. We were we like to drive up to Vancouver a lot and hang out up there. Go to Whistler. And just we don't really ski, but our family loves to ski, so we have turned into great lodge goers. And we just hang out. They go ski for the day. We just hang in the lodge chill enjoy the snow go for a hike and then just enjoy it it's fun it's i love going up there i really want to get up to vancouver no or victoria again soon watching your videos has so much inspiration already it empires me to build my own unique build some more love from south africa hey Shen, thank you so very much uh no that who was that who, who did i miss there yeah Shen Lee, thank you so very much for the donut i really appreciate that and thank you for the kind words i'm glad you're finding so much inspiration out of all of it. That's absolutely awesome. Please work, please work, please work. Nice. This is actually going quicker than I thought it would. I missed one. I, I missed. I missed. Will you have a Q&A? I mean, we kind of do live Q&A the whole stream, so yeah. <laughs> it's real. Hey, Flip. I've been missing more streams since school started. So I'm glad to have caught this one. Also, congrats on the wedding. Hey, Jaden, good to see you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I'm good to have you back. Hope, hope school and all that's going well. Eh. Explodey. Explosions. And then if I put one right here, we could just do bam, bam, bam. Perfect. Oh, I'm too close. <laughs> There we go. Nice. Right, right, right. We're just going to have so much netherrack loss. It's fine. I kept like, so far I've kept like eight. No, 11. 11 double chests full of netherrack. netherrack. And then I was just like, I don't think I need much more than this. If I ever need that much nether brick, I have a piglin bartering farm now. I don't need to be saving netherrack from this. It just adds so much more time. <laughs> Oh, do you think you'll die this season? I don't want to put any speculation on anything. I am terrified of going to the deep dark, though. I will say that much. I have not done that quite yet because I am scared of the warden. I've only had one safe encounter with a warden on Empire so far, so I'm a little scared. It's real. My main goal would be building, and I'll probably base some builds off of this series. I'm in Canada. Go to Blue Mountain. Awesome ski resort town. Ooh, very cool. Yeah, I think my brother's been up there. He did a ski tour through Canada a few years back and stopped by a bunch of places. I feel like I've heard that name before. Very cool. Thank you so much again. I really do appreciate the donuts today, everybody. Hope y'all are having a good week so far. I know we're only on Tuesday, but I feel like this has been a long one. Netherite. Did I miss some? Do we got netherite? If we find netherite this high up, I will be amazed. That would be cool, though. It is possible. You can find netherite all the way, like ancient debris, all the way up here. So, really? It didn't blow up that one? That's why I put the TNT there. Fine. I'll do it myself. We're chilling. How long have you been at it? Uh, it took about four hours to dig all of that out. And then... Um, we've been at this for, what, 10 minutes today-ish? If we get all of this done today, I'd be very happy. Like, just halfway through it. I'm planning to stream again tomorrow and keep working on it a bit further. So I think I'm going to spend some time tonight, probably while I'm just chilling, 
finish mining out another quarter of that and then this is all the tnt i have though so once we clear out this i actually got to go mine for some sand which is rather unfortunate but it's a part of the problem it's a good thing the gas farm is still full of gunpowder i've got to get a new gunpowder farm though i don't think the gas farm is going to work that much longer because it's been very weird since 120 or 119 I wish 120. That'd be great. <laughs> How do you play Minecraft for hours without getting a headache? Uh, if you're getting a headache while playing video games, I'd look into seeing if you're if you're wearing a headset. If that's too tight, that's done that to me in the past. Um, even just looking at monitors for too long does affect some people. So you could try like a blue light filter for your glasses or something. Or glasses or something like that helps me a little bit. Your posture can also give you headaches. Um, make sure drink of water. I don't know. Also, just some people aren't able to do it, but it doesn't bother me. I can usually sit at a computer for most of the day. Not that I should, but I do. <laughs> it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, now we're really getting into it. Nope, nope, nope. Too much getting into it. I don't want to explode going down much yet because that'll start gas spawning, and then that's when we get real scary up here. <laughs> I'm just going to do it right here. Boop. Are you going to break all the bedrock? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I did that in that little circle. You know that circle that we have, the nether hub to get up and down? Uh, or to get onto the ceiling and back down? Yeah, that took me five hours. I know there are bigger bedrock breaking machines you can do. But those, again, kind of go against my whole philosophy in this world of I only want to do things that are easily explained. So when you add giant bedrock breaking machine that's just bugging out everything in the game to break a hundred pieces of bedrock at once, I just like, yeah, it's a little, a little much for me. It's going to look really cool just with the netherrack in the ceiling. Who knows if eventually we come back and build in here. I've always had the idea for another build in this, in like just a giant wasteland, just because you can use all of the cool biome atmosphere you get in the nether. But it's just so deadly that I just, if there's a way to stop gas from spawning without totally spawn proofing everything, I'd consider it. Like if they only spawned on nether blocks, that would be cool. But I don't think that'll ever happen. I want to build on the nether. Like, I think it's fun. I think it's really cool to like, build in these places. But it's just so inconvenient. <laughs> it's so much pain. Hey, for real. F whip is making a wither skelly farm. Wow, it said F whip this time. Also, Liz, thank you so much for the donut. Yeah, we're working. If For those who haven't caught on, we're working on clearing out a perimeter. 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 perimeter for a wither skeleton farm. And we're trying to floss the bedrock ceiling right now for the aesthetics. Because, you know, lamp production requires very, very high aesthetics. And this is, from that center point, I went out 128 that way, and I went out 128 this way. So, that'll make it so when we're standing in the middle, once we blow up all this stuff all the way down, no mobs will spawn unless we want them to spawn, because they just won't have space to spawn. So, it'll be... Very, very efficient. I think it's going to be fun. For all the important lamps. Exactly! How does one build a city without lamps? Riddle me that. <laughs> What's your plan for digging out the hole after the bedrock? Uh, I want to TNT down it a little bit further, and then we're just going to use a TNT duping machine. There, I'm not digging this by hand. I don't have that. I don't have that kind of time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Nope. 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 That's. It's for real. 15 gift memberships if we get 1.3k likes. <gasps> I mean, Alicia said it, not me, everybody. Alicia, I mean, we're, we got 1,500 people in here. That's possible. <laughs> also, Alicia, thank you for the donut. How are you doing today? Good to see you. Your Tuesday's going okay. 
I know there's a big server event on the new that new Rats SMP today, so I was like, all right, stream will be chill, which I'm kind of down with, because sometimes I feel like streaming here gets so hectic. It's it's hard to really chat with people a bunch, so I kind of I'm I dig every once in a while we get the quieter streams. I'm here for it. Good, thank you. Good, good, good. Make a modern city and empires. I don't think that fits the goblin vibe. But the goblin city will have more modern elements to it because I want to make it look more like, uh, I guess, industrial era elements, you could say. The likes are coming. Ooh, we're at 999. We're almost to 1,000. Alicia's over here like, give them a reward and they will do it. <laughs> Are you learning to build so good? I've been playing this game for well over 10 years. So you get a lot of time to practice. <laughs> I've been playing this game for well over 10 years. And for the past seven years, I think I would average probably five to six hours of gameplay a day. <laughs> and I still don't know if I should be proud of that number. But here we are. So we're gonna be there's no shame in the game pretty much exactly <laughs> i've been playing minecraft since pocket edition came out Ooh, that one that one i skipped i've tried pocket edition i own it but i just the controls man i could not do it my fingers are too big my fingers, are, my hands are too big for the tiny phone. If it's anything beyond a mobile game of click a button and wait for something to happen, I just don't play mobile games. But I do get hooked on mobile games too often. I don't spend money on them. I'm, I'm not at that point. I don't drop any dollars on the mobile game. I've gotten myself to where I don't spend money on them. Alicia, thank you so much for the five gift memberships. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But I feel like I always have one mobile game that I'm playing. I play it for like a month and a half. Like, religiously. Like, every few hours, I'm like checking my phone to see the little updates on my base. If there's anything else I can queue up. And then after that, I hit a point where I'm just like, nope, I'm done. And I just never open it again. Angry Birds is amazing. That one I I played a bit as when it like the original release of Angry Birds, and then I was just like, yeah. I more play those like stupid strategy ones where it's like you build up your little base, kind of Clash of Clans, but not. I don't like the ones that have very PvP, like people are raiding your base and stealing your resources. So I don't I don't play those. I play more of like the chill co-op-y ones. I think the one I'm playing right now is called Rise of Cultures or Rise of Nations or something. I don't know. Make a nether city in the nether roof. I want to do another ceiling build. I really, really am inspired to do nether ceiling builds. I just need to find time to do it. And But I think the city project needs to take priority. Just because the city... Y'all seem to really enjoy the city, by the way. How, how are we feeling on that? One episode down. So much building. <laughs> so much building. Hey, Russell Griffin, how are you doing today? I haven't seen, uh, didn't see your name in there. So one, how are you doing? Good to see you. Hope, here's a coffee for all. Dude, caffeine would be great. I will say I'm, I've am i been sticking to my workout routine that I've been telling y'all about, or I told y'all about a while ago. Where I'm trying to act, be healthy in the mornings and wake up and before I even get on my computer and do any work, I'm getting a workout in. Uh, it's been going great so far. I'm on week four. My abs hurt so bad, but I'm doing it. I'm, I'm holding through. The program I did was four weeks, so I just got to finish this one. And it's done. And I'm going to start round two. There's a second one. Workouts, I know. I've been doing like a 10-minute core every day, or 10 to 15-minute core, and then doing a 30-minute bike ride after. I'm hooked. We've joined the Peloton cult. <laughs> Hardcore join the Peloton cult. But it's fine. It's supposed to be healthy, right? What is a workout? Please share again. Uh, it's this thing when you like do these little like, you know when your hands get tight when you're at your computer and then you do this little thing and you're just like 
just stretch them out a bit and then you go back to playing games that's that's a workout yeah just do that like 30 times and it burns calories and then yeah <laughs> It's weird, like post-wedding is when I was like, you know what, I think I wanna still, I, like, I wanna really start working out. <laughs> I feel like most people would be like, pre-wedding is when I start working out, but now I'm just like, no, I, I kinda wanna just be healthier. <laughs> I thought it was easier to, like, I thought bedrock because it's technically not a solid block, like explosions traveled through them further, but I guess not. It's traveling pretty well, but. Not perfect. How do you get time to do such big projects in Minecraft? Uh, I make time. But also, it's my job. So you gotta think about that. What happened to Joel, PG YouTuber? Actually, I don't know. Go ask Joel. I think it's something that, like, is totally okay for channels to change and how they do PG versus non-PG content as they're around, though. Like, will I be PG family friendly forever on YouTube? Probably to an extent, but not completely. Like, I could see just as I get older, I want my channel to grow with me. And I'm already not a fully PG friendly person outside of streaming. So I know how to turn on and off the filter, but... <laughs> I don't know. I think it's okay to for creators to evolve into being okay with more language usage on their channels and things like that. I don't see a problem with it. Same thing as some people eventually will change. Like me ending other series to start turning into a hardcore YouTuber or starting things like Empire. Same thing. Explode 10 T TNT at a time. Yeah, Joel's content, so PG. So PG. Uh, just don't listen to the words he says so peachy get in through it Ooh, look how much we've done we start all the way down there we're almost halfway here it's a good strip Why are you blowing up the nether? We're starting a wither skelly farm today. Well, I kind of started it yesterday. But the next hardcore project is I wanted to build a wither skelly farm so that I could make a bunch of lamps to decorate the city with. To prepare for hanging signs. Also to decorate the city with. I'm really tempted to somehow get a armor stand or like micro block mod on the server i feel like that'd be so fun to run or on not on the server the world like being able to micro block to build things would be so fun just like extra little decorations i just don't know how to do it maybe i can look into how the wandering trader data pack works and see if i could maybe add some of my own trades to it because i want like not like micro blocks, but I want like things like a water bucket or like a loaf of bread just that's like a Minecraft head block or something like that. I know we have them on the supporter server, so I might look into see where that pulls from and see if there's a way to get it. We'll see. You are losing your buttons. My buttons! I've got two more stacks. We're fine. <laughs> Anything but the gumdrop buttons. Anytime I see a spot where I can just throw a TNT and do it, I think I'm just going to. Cool, 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 cool. Green is very PG? Yeah, green is super PG. I feel like that's also one that, like, I'm sure if he wasn't PG, his audience would get pretty upset at him. <laughs> Not that it's his fault, but it is what it is.
is it necessary to explode these blocks not in the slightest actually maybe i don't know is it these technically count as blocks so they would calculate in mine like ba minecraft based off of spawning rules but i think that carries from the bottom up so if you removed everything below you'd be fine question mark I know removing all the blocks around it does help increase spawn rates, just even over slabbing them and things, because the game still is calculating whether something's there or not, and then checking it. So if there's nothing there, there's nothing to calculate. Math and stuff, you know? So this might actually make it even faster. I don't know. I'm doing it because I think it'll look cool. <laughs> Yeah, there's no way Ollie would be considered family friendly, I think. <laughs> Aha! Really getting the momentum now. Slowly. Slowly, we're making progress. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> this won't be as big as building with whip, right? No. <laughs> no, this is probably a third. Maybe. Maybe a third of the size of the perimeter we cleared in building with whip. No, no way. No way am I ever doing one that big. God, the build plan I had for that, I was insane. That was the most insane thing I've ever tried to come up with doing in a Minecraft world. There, no way am I ever doing that again. Uh, can you build a Catholic church in your city? I specifically avoid building anything related to a real world religion just because it's, I don't think it needs to belong in a game. Uh, so no, will there be like some like shrines and things? Sure, but it's all gonna be based around a fantasy religion of whatever I make up. So I'll just create some weird looking contraption that'll be like, this is kind of their relic and things. But because I don't want anybody to feel uncomfortable or a place where they just like don't feel welcome, I purposely do not build any real world religion things. So no. I do apologize if that's a problem, but I'm not changing on that one. I'm waiting for the snapshot 1.20. Is there a, I saw there was a new beta build that came out for Bedrock today. And then tomorrow we got a new actual snapshot probably. I haven't jumped into the snapshot yet. I kind of realized that I don't like looking at them until like it's actually live. I, I like the surprise. I'll, I'll look at the like the posts and things, but actually getting in game, I like to be surprised by once it actually gets here. Oof. Okay, that took forty minutes. Oh jeez. At thirty minutes. Thirty minutes for that. Okay, we can get we can get a good chunk of this stuff. That's, that's fine. I guess I do need to continue going that way. So it's okay if they overlap. Just subscribe to Flip2. Thanks. Y'all, we're getting so close. It's so close to 100,000. whip is almost there. My boy. My child. Okay, this is getting a little rough to walk around, but we're getting there. You almost out of buttons. Now nah, I got two more stacks. We good, we good. I'm using buttons because for some reason I thought this would be better than making a flint and steel. I think I'm getting more use out of the buttons than I would flint and steel though, so it works. Just 
start a new world since I'm bedridden from surgery. Ooh, hope the recovery goes quick, my friend. You got this. Take it slow, one day at a time. Did this work? I think it worked. Finding the little spots to place the TNT is gonna be pain. Ah. Ooh, progress. Now it's starting to look really good out here. Everybody's like, how do you do those big projects? This, this, this is how the projects happen. Lots of time. <laughs> so much time. Love TNT. TNT is the way to go. <laughs> what are we working on? Clearing out the bedrock ceiling for a wither skeleton perimeter farm. The only farm I couldn't build on this on the roof. <laughs> Actually, I guess a blaze farm too, which unfortunately the blaze farm is in the radius of what we're clearing out here. So I will have to destroy the blaze farm at one point, but I think we can find a better location with potentially a double. I think a double blaze farm will be worth it at some point in this world if we can find one. But that'll require a lot of hunting. Should make a bamboo farm for 120 because they can produce a lot of chests. Oh yeah, no, I, bamboo farm is definitely on the radar now. I'm, one, I use so much scaffolding. Now that I use scaffolding for windows, I actually go through it so quickly. So I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get on that bamboo farm. I need it anyways. Normally I'd do it because I'm like fuel, but it's such a bad fuel source. That's okay though. Brenna, thank you so much for the dono. I do appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Thank, thank you, thank you. Hey, for real. Ah, a blessed amount of normalcy after a truly awful week. Thank you so much for being here for us all. I know your content is a comfort for more than just me. Less than three, less than three, less than three, <laughs> less than three. <laughs> less than three right back at you. <laughs> hope the week gets better from here, my friend. I, I, I do hope for you. Thank you, thank you so much again. Glad, glad you can get a little bit of a break in here. And hopefully we stay safe today. Wee. Ow. Instant exploded by some TNT. Staying safe today. Hello, I love your videos, but I do I have to make Minecraft videos to what? To what? You don't have to make any videos if you don't want to. Nobody's forcing anybody to make videos. Actually, some of you probably want to force me to make more videos. <laughs> and I'll take that as a compliment. Eee! So I'm doing this now because normally I would just like go to that, clear it out all below. But th I have vivid memories of just absolutely hating myself for not doing it to begin with in the building with Whip World. So that's why we're flossing the ceiling first because it was so much pain getting back to the ceiling to clear the stuff out beforehand. So I know this isn't the most entertaining thing, but it's a very, very important step to this process <laughs> of this needs to happen now. And also I figured I'd split this, do this side and then clear out that side and then do this again over there just so that I can uh, have some sense of sanity. See how much we get done today, though. We've almost been streaming an hour at this point, so it's taken a hot minute. But we can't force you to flip, or maybe we can. <laughs> McDonald's or KFC? I've never been to a KFC in my life, so McDonald's, 100%. Apparently, uh, according to Sid, though, I'm elitist in my fast food place. Because I also don't like Burger King or any of those, really. I just, I know I like McDonald's 
and I know what I like at McDonald's. So if I ever want fast food, I just go there. Or there's a few local ones. There's a few good, really good local Seattle burger chains that I go to quite often. Or like a Chipotle. Oof. Oof, a Chipotle. What's your favorite block? Right now, TNT, because it's making this a lot easier. No, I've really grown to love the beehive block. The or bee nest, whatever the player crafted one is. I always forget which is which. But I really like that for decorating and just like fun little details. That's, re that's a really good one. And mud. Oh, packed mud. Delicious. Yes, the block is delicious. It's fine. It's all fine. <laughs> Do you like sushi? Yeah. Yes, sushi also delicious. Just like packed mud. Which is more delicious? The world may never know. It's like a Tootsie Pop. Which block has done the hardest for you to build with? Uh, magenta glazed anything. Or sorry, glazed any glazed terracottas. The magenta one especially, I literally have never used. Um, but the rest, I think I've found different ways to use them here and there. I think I could throw the magenta glazed into Goblin, though. I think I could make it work in there. I think that that's a possibility. Sponges? Ah, uh, sponges I think of as a utility material, not a building block, because you just can't get enough of them to build with. But I've seen some people use sponges pretty well for, like in creative mode builds as kind of like a really light pale yellow for like a gradient building it it's, works well i think the sponge if you're a creative builder is going to work really well with the bamboo but that'll depend if people like bamboo or not enough to cry about it needing to be changed so it seems like the response so far to bamboo is that it's so off like any other wood type that it's hard to combine with it but also i Think it, I don't think it needs to be. I think the new bamboo block will be really cool. Everything that they've announced for 120 so far, I'm excited about. I think they're all going to be really good. Seem like a bunch of really good changes. Chiseled red sandstone. Gonna break all that bedrock? No, no ODST. No way at all. <laughs> Not even a thought in the brain. <laughs> that was an instant gnar. Big gnar. This looks like TNT basketball. Okay. Got to get it in the little spot in the roof. Okay, okay, okay. Bam. And there's another one. Cool, 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 cool. I know we're gonna be all the way done with clearing out this entire zone, all the way down there, just looking back up and just seeing like one. <laughs> and I'm gonna be so sad. <laughs> Do you like Terraria? Terraria is pretty cool, but I don't play it all that often. I haven't played Terraria in a probably two or three years at this point to be honest um i just i don't know i don't have time for something like terraria or if there's free time for me there's other games i'd prefer playing it's a cool game it's a cool concept i think it'd be fun to play with friends but i don't think if i'd ever real, really do it solo. With, at Addicts was looking for some advice for their 400 day old world any building tips for them since they're feeling demotivated oh, jaden thank you so much for the dono i appreciate the reminder on that one on the message um 400 day old world oof that's kind of the point where you like i feel like that's when you're hit an end game depending on what's going on but i always find that if i get really demotivated on stuff because that point you're like okay i got materials you probably got some farms set up probably got a lot of stuff and you can either start a stupid project like this one and just slowly grind away on it or if you're like nah i want to build in the overworld because you're insane uh, or you are saying I'm insane. Um, 
if you can start a new base you can that's kind of what i do is when i get bored or demotivated really quiet, it's like okay so where can i travel nearby care. and start a new village project like where can i if i ever release a video that's like village transformation and here's a new build style that's usually because i'm bored of the last one and that for me helps me out a lot of keeping it fresh and then i think of some new ideas while i'm doing that and then i want to come back to the other one i think the biggest thing that people try and do in minecraft is there's they're like uh i want this done i just got to get it done and then i can play the game and it's just like the doing is playing the game so don't force yourself if you don't want to do you know find something else that's fun gather resources for a future project gather some pets do all that type of stuff for real. hopefully that no helps. bedrock breaking gotta see the void when you look up as it stares back into your soul and you inevitably begin to ponder past life decisions yeah 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 that 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 one that that one ocean breeze thanks so much for the dono i appreciate that it's really quiet i work alone so my boss doesn't care hey as long as you get your stuff done i think they should be chill with it <laughs> also odst thank you for the dono and um the little bit of nice touch of it's like a little pinch of despair in your day I hope you're doing well. <laughs> so this one time before I quit my job to be a full-time YouTuber, I was still worked in an office, um, the pre COVID days. And I had turned on a Twitch stream just because that's what I did. Like half the week I worked from home. Other half of the week I work in the office and I was running a script on my computer because I did database management. So I literally had like a 10 minute script that I had nothing else to do, was fully using my computer. So like I couldn't do anything else besides watch and, or just sit around and twiddle my thumbs waiting for it to be finished. Because there's nothing I could start in the meantime that would be able to get finished. And so I turned on a Twitch stream while I was just sitting there chilling. And this guy who was technically a higher up, but definitely not my manager, just came over and just started like absolutely berating me just like calling me lazy and s just like what are you doing and all this stuff and i was like and i just turned to him i was just like you can talk to my manager if you want because like but you can't tell me what to do like you you don't have the ability to tell me what to do so just leave and also i've okayed this already that i can do this and the dude would just not take no for an answer and ended up reporting me to his boss which was my manager's boss and that was like the the exec of our team and he came over and he was like what were you doing i was just like i was watching a twitch stream while waiting for a thing to finish and he knew i was a youtuber so he knew i was into that and his kids were really into gaming so they watch streams all the time too and everything like that and so he he knew what it was and he was like all right okay that's fine are you still getting your work done and everything i was just like yeah i was like this last month i was the highest performer on our team so like i think it's okay like i'm <laughs> just like i'm more than double performance of uh some people in our team over here and the exec just like was like huh okay and i heard him he walked over <laughs> to the to the guy who was yelling at me and it was just like can you come into a conference room with me real quick and then um all of you hear is the door shut and all of a sudden the exec just starts yelling and just like <laughs> just telling the dude just like you aren't his boss like <laughs> basically just telling him to shut up and get his own work done um and then the best part was the guy who was yelling at me for not doing my job was fired two weeks later for um sitting on facebook too much that he wasn't actually doing his own job <laughs> He spent more time berating other employees and sitting on Facebook than actually doing his own. And I really hope subtly that him calling me out is what probed the investigation into his own stuff to see if he was doing his own work. And it, it was it was just the happiest of happy turnarounds that could have happened. <laughs> it's real. Nothing like a little bit of saucy despair and existentialism to spice up the day. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm doing good at whip. Chilling with my dogs as we watch. Hey, there you go. There you go. Nice, nice, nice. Gotta get the doggo loving. Yeah, that was like one of my highlights. That I, and then I quit two months, I, three months later? Three months later is when I quit to go full time on YouTube. So I also got out of there. <laughs> 
but I was like, ah, this is funny. I know that uh, the, my exec, his kids subscribed to my channel because they're big Minecrafters. So I, they might, they might be in the stream to the, at this day, to this day. Who knows? Hope you're doing great. Do you love hamsters? Hamsters are cool. Hamsters are pretty cool. I had a hamster as a kid, but <laughs> I had a hamster as a kid. It was cute. I loved it. And we put him in the little ball and he'd go all the way around. But for some reason, he hated my brother. So anytime my brother would pick him up, he'd either pee on his hand or he would bite him. He ne the hamster never did it to anyone else in my family. Like me, my mom, my dad, all of us could pick up a little hamster and play with him and hang out totally fine didn't have any problems hey, the second my brother would pick him up in the, before the hamster would just start biting days, him at least where i'm at it seems like people are telling higher ups to shove it embarrassed smiley face yeah this was back in 2019 so it wasn't quite as common but i mean i very much am on board with if somebody doesn't have the right to tell you what to do you don't need to listen and all you have to respond with is uh Please talk to my manager and bring it up with them. If it's a problem, they'll handle it. Like, that's the best thing you can do. It's just instantly turn it back on them and be like, if you actually want to file a complaint, you got to first make sure you're in the right there. But if somebody's like trying to complain and yell at you and they're not your manager, just tell them to talk to your manager and that they technically are breaking, probably breaking company practices by yelling at you. They're spending their time doing it. They're not doing their job. So, hmm. Huh. The little red. Thank you for the gifts up. Ooh, nice. Look at you. That's my cat hating my dad and loving me, my mom, and my brother. <laughs> the hamster knew something y'all don't. No, it, what's so funny is, like, my family was very big on animals growing up. Like, we have always had a lot of animals and very much, like, an animal-focused family. Like, my mom grew up with horses, so we always had horses. We had cats and dogs growing up. And then after we got... We had guinea pigs, hamsters, all that type of stuff. Uh, and then after my mom's horse passed away, we ended up getting into dog sledding. So we filled the barn. Instead of horses, we filled it with Malamutes, because that's a great just turnaround second option. Would recommend. Uh... <laughs> So, like, we always had so many animals, and that was, it was just that hamster. Nobody else did it to my brother. It was just the hamster that hated him, and I always thought it was so funny. Everybody be sure to like the stream if you haven't. Ooh, there we go. Somebody said it. I just repeated him. How's your Halloween? Uh, we're going to get the fourth COVID booster, or fourth... COVID shot, second booster on Halloween, and we're getting our flu shots. So uh, it's going to be great. <laughs> we, over the weekend, went to some friend's house on Saturday and did some pumpkin carving. I'll post some photos soon of the pumpkin. I, I carved, I made a porg from Star Wars, the little porg. Ka-ching! <laughs> Alicia's like, I forgot. <laughs> thank you so much. I, I wasn't saying that at all to call you out, but thank you so much for the 10 gift subs. I appreciate that. What are you going to build for Halloween? This is my Halloween build. Thank you so much, Alicia. I appreciate that. Look look at that. Restful Griffin. A mod got a gift sub. Oh, it's a good day. Yeah, so we kind of did a little Halloween party with some friends over the weekend. Just did some pumpkin carving. We got home at like 1.30 in the morning. And I've never... I Or you normally asleep by like 10, 30, 11 at night. So it was... Waking up the next day, oh my gosh. <laughs> I was not a happy camper Sunday morning. <laughs> I was so sleepy. I know some people normally stay up that late, but mm -mm, not me. I used to. I used to be like wake, awake way late at night, and I just can't do it anymore. You like Fortnite? Never played it. It doesn't seem like my game. I don't I don't enjoy battle royales pretty much. That's where I'm at. Any game really that like you don't carry progression between 
games, like when you log in, you just play around and you log out. I just don't enjoy. I like having long-term goals to work towards more than leveling up on a battle pass. Which I was, I'm really, like I've been enjoying Overwatch 2, but also really bummed by it because they took away the leveling system and replaced it with that battle pass. Whereas before you could like level up, unlock skins and get currency. And now it's just pay money. And it's just like, really? Come on guys. Nah. The loot boxes after they, you know, fix them so much better, so much better of a system than the battle pass BS they got going on. Have you played Genshin Impact? I have not, no. You play Zelda or Mario games? Mario Kart, pretty much it. I, I'll be honest, Nintendo is not my favorite franchise. Like they're, the games on Nintendo, I just, I don't know, I grew up playing them. But they just never held a place for me. Like, I've just evolved in different genres, I guess, than what Nintendo does, so. I Like, they're always fun. I always like looking and seeing what they're releasing. But then I'm just like, do I care? Nah, I'm not going to play it. <laughs> One momento. i got to check a quick ping. So many pings, so many admin -y things to do all the time. Let's blow stuff up. Yay! Why are you exploding in the nether? Get rid of these. Get rid of those dudes. Now, I, I want to build a wither skeleton farm. So we are working towards creating a perimeter in the nether, which I already know I'm doing this in a soul sand valley biome. Mostly, mostly Soul Sand Valley. So like realistically, I could have done it a lot simpler, but that's not me. Don't be stupid. Someone behind you. <gasps> ah! It's him. It's a skeleton, isn't it? I know some people are like, close the door to your office, but I leave it open so the doggos can come in. and I appreciate all the repos. <laughs> How you make each building unique? They said, uh, basically you start with a block palette. Actually, I'll wait for the Texas speech go and then we can collab. We can also go walk through the city at the end of stream today. Y'all want to, if you haven't seen it, I post a video on my second channel. Flip. That's not the right. Flip too. Yeah. Huh? 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 Uh, doing like a much more in-depth walkthrough of the city. So if y'all haven't seen that, go check that out. Um, I want to do more of those after every single city build. We'll do a walkthrough of kind of the new it's section. Have no name 114 Abel was wondering how you make each building unique. They said they start to feel demotivated when their buildings look dissimilar. Keep it real. So blocks go boom. Love the stream. Go Got a kitten yesterday and going to annoy it now. Thanks for the stream, Flip. Yeah, also, so I'll enjoy like annoying the kitten. Uh, give him many scritches. Uh, watch out for the claws. But <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, for making buildings unique, there's kind of my design philosophy. And it's built off of like a general art design philo philosophy, I guess. But there's a lot of different elements to building. Uh, so if we think about it, I can write it out here in chat. But you have the shape. You got the color, okay, blocks. You have uh, height. You got, uh, what else is there? Well, form would kind of be shape. Shape, color, height. Let's just say roof style, because it's Minecraft. And then those are kind of the base ones. Basic, I, I usually divide it into three or four things. So I have like the color of the build that's going on. I have the shape of how the roof is working together. And granted, it doesn't always have to be the same. And that's kind of where this all comes in. Texture, yeah, texture dimensions. Yeah, scale. 
texture. So let's go shape, color, color and texture, kind of the same thing. Height, roof style, scale. What you kind of do off of those is you say in the city, I have the scale is kind of locked in. Non-boxiness comes into shape. But if you take all of those different art forms, so you have the color, basically the blocks that you're using, if you have the shape, which is kind of like the rough, like, is it a medieval? Is it modern? Is it whatever? Um, as long as multiple of the elements stay the same, for me, I typically go as I can alter one of them. So I can change the scale so I can make it bigger or smaller, but then the shape and the colors are similar to everything else that I've got going on. Or I can change, I keep the shape, the scale, and like the roof style the same. I change the color, then it still blends in. As long as a few of the things, like you can change one of those things at a time and then you'll be good. Like that's, that's kind of where I sit at with it. As long as one of the things is different, then it's still f something fun to mess around with. So you're experimenting with new blocks, you're experimenting with new stuff. Um, I don't think I really said it in the video for the city build. But the thing that I really wanted to stay consistent in that section of the city was that all of the roofs were like an orangey red tone. So that's why there's so much copper, mangrove, and like acacia for the roofs is because I really wanted to be those warmer red tones for the roof. So then we're going to evolve soon into having another district that's going to be like all purples. And then we're going to have a blue district, a green district, and all that kind of stuff. Just having a bunch of different places spread around that are feel more fun. So that I can still keep the same medieval style, but each place is going to look unique because the roofs are going to be different. And then the shape of all those little added elements, like the extra things like the bay windows, the leaves, the sticky outy bits. You just kind of add those in as you go and just make them fit. But it doesn't seem he reads the comments. I never read the comments. You're right. Yeah. No, YouTube chat moves quick. I try and read as many as I can. Then we talk for like five minutes about it. Do you draw slash paint IRL for this philosophy? I really want to get into pixel art, but I just don't have the time to dedicate to sit down for it because I'm too busy. But I I don't have a steady hand for like doing art or anything like that. It just frustrates me because I can't make a clean line. My hands are a little shaky. Um, th thanks, genetics. Got that one from my dad. <laughs> um, but I really want to get more into pixel art and things like that. I think that'll be a later in life journey of getting into art further okay here we go boom boom does this work ha <laughs> Oh, those buttons are ripped. Actually, no, they aren't. They're they're alive. Eee! Right above me. Okay. Nope. Oh, we're almost out of TNT. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Going quick mode here. Bam. Just Lord has stabilization other handy tools for that. Yeah, I've tried the one in Photoshop. It works pretty well. Helps me out a lot at least. That's what I use that for when I'm making like circles and things for thumbnails and or drawing arrows and whatnot a lot. I also feel like I want to be one of those people that gets like the fancy tablet. Because I have one with it, like, doesn't have a screen on it, but it, like, projects. It's, like, the little surface thing you need to draw on. And I would love to get one that, like, you actually draw directly on. I have a surface that I do it on, but I was trying to be cheap. And I bought the one, the level down from what I should have bought. Because I was like, I want to save $100. Because it's just a work laptop for checking emails and things. And then uh, it doesn't. I was like, and maybe it'll also run Photoshop so I can draw. And it did not do a good job. It does not. Missed. Uh. 
I think we got most around here. Perfect. Okay, nice. I kind of want to get this little. Ah, uh, we can. Well, I'll I'll move those shulkers later, and we'll handle this. I should move. I should move. <laughs> nice little tap on the way out. There are some decently priced tablets out there. Yeah. I feel like I keep getting to that point where I'm like, mm, yeah, I want to get the software because the software and like the the fancier tablet will make me actually do it. And I'm like, no, if I'm not doing it consistently now, I probably shouldn't be spending money to say that I'll do it once I get the thing that'll allow me to do it. So I'm just, I don't know. If I'm not like interested in creating based off of like what I have in front of me, I'm just like, maybe I just shouldn't yet. One shot, one kill. You start a building tutorial channel? Nah, I just don't have time. I just, uh, just don't have the time or desire to be a building tutorial YouTuber. It's not where the interest lies for me, unfortunately. But I think that's okay. I think y'all can get inspiration off of what I build and pause the video if you really want to see how it's made and kind of analyze it from there and then uh, try and make it yourself. You really want to be a better builder. You look at inspiration. You don't call it tutorials. Hundred percent understand. Well, yeah, it's just I just don't don't have the time. If I had unlimited hours and the only way I would consider making a building channel is basically. <laughs> paying somebody to do it and record it and like get the editing done and then I would just do the voiceover be like here's the build that I built in hardcore figure out a way to turn it into a tutorial for me and then like we'll just do a voiceover of what you did like I could do it in that way but also like I don't think it would the return on that would not be worth it Okay, let's start going back this way because, yeah, we're kind of going around. We're missing this whole middle section. Because I've got one more stack. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Oh, I thought it was that one. Nope. See a netherrack everywhere. I think your pickaxe works better. Uh, so what this is doing, the reason why I'm using the TNT is because this will blow up the blocks that I can't access. It's so like there's blocks probably like hidden behind these that I can't access that still need to be destroyed. So doing it with the TNT, the blocks can blow up through the bedrock that I wouldn't be able to get to, which is the main reason. Everybody I've talked to, they're like, oh, this isn't that long of a section to do. Like, you can do a perimeter pretty easy about it. And then now I'm just like, you lied to me. But I'm already starting this project. But you lied to me. <laughs> what are we doing today? We are working. This is like technically day two, but I started way late in the afternoon yesterday um, of Wither Skelly Farm. Hope, I'm, my goal is to get this done by the end of next week. Like the whole farm, get it built, functional, all that cool stuff. And then we'll have to figure out a... I'll have to figure out some build or something to make it look more interesting than just being... I built a winter scouting farm. The problem is, is in the nether, I always want to build like with black. And like deep slate and black stone. And then you see it and you're like, that's just so dark. Like, it's just incredibly dark. Mm. 
Any tips on how to build castles for somebody who hasn't done it before? I got a few videos on my channel for how to build a castle where I kind of talk about how to lay out and how to get the scale down and things like that. Uh, check those out if you're brand new. They have helped a lot of people. So I would recommend. Would recommend. It be real. For anyone wondering, Whip is clearing this area to build a wither skeleton farm. D. Yes, yes, we'll grow. Restful Griffin, that is correct. Thank you for the dono. Or are you blowing up the nether? What the bot just said. I feel like a wither skelly farm is that like just essential you really are in the end game of hardcore minecraft once you have a wither skelly farm and just unlimited beacons and i'm kind of here for it right now i think decorating with beacons especially in the city is just going to be stupid <laughs> will it take a long time to get the beacons yeah but but it'll be funny just saying Just saying, approaching a place and be like, all right, here's our, here's the street lights down this way. And it's just all beacons. Mm -hmm. Could be kind of cool. As we said, dude, really love the city build. Hey, Metrica, how are you doing today? Can't wait to explore that for myself. Yeah, it'll be a fun one. I, I'm really loving it. Just all the little detail and stuff in there. I... I'm really glad I went back at the end and was just like, you know what? I just, I want to make this feel more full. I did a few extra things before, like after finishing the video that I showed off in the tour that were, I was really happy I took the time to go on that in. Sorry, I'm just trying to read. Trying to re read a Discord message real quick and still manage this. We're back. We're doing it. Somebody who's telling me what music disc this is. This one's other side. Another Lena Rain. Okay. Now I feel like I've just lost my whole mojo of where I was going. Just so perfectly in line. I was making so many good lines of just it was all perfect. And now I'm just like wee. Ow, ow, ow. I'm not, not, not. Ah, sucker. Wait, he still didn't die? Wow. Okay. We can put a button on TNT. Heck yeah. TNT, button, boom. Pick up button, run. I have so much stone in this world that I just needed a way to get rid of some of it. <laughs> That'll work better. so difficult right now what's wrong <laughs> Currently, yeah we're clearing out wither skelly farm sorry i'm like trying to read a conversation i really should put this way i'll read it later <laughs> okay. 
I'll just do that later. It's streaming time. I'm here. We're streaming. We're doing stuff. Oh, that's not gonna work. Huh? Nope. I did what I didn't mean to do. <laughs> that's what I meant. The gas noises are freaking me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you exploding in the nether? Wither Skelly Farm. It be real. At Danny DeVito asks why the ceiling has to be gone. <laughs> I don't know. It's so funny to me that you're just like, and this person's asking. <laughs> Jaden, thank you for the dono. So I want to remove the ceiling mostly just because it'll look better. Because otherwise that to me, disgusting. This clean. I, I just think it looks better with the bedrock or with the netherrack gone. If I could clear the bedrock, would I? Yeah, but no. Also, I think right above us here is the Hoglin farm or it's pretty close or it's the, no, the gas farm. The gas farm's like above us. Let's see, where's the center? The gas farm is like up there. So if we were to clear it, I'd have to move the gas farm. Otherwise it'd be floating right above us and I don't want to do that. But it's just going to be look better. It's just going to look a lot better. Have you on in the background? I think I'm hearing a creeper. I hope there's no creepers in the nether. Could you imagine? If in 1.20, they're like, so now in the warp forest, we decided that creepers belong. <laughs> Everybody would just cry. If they made creepers in anywhere other than the overworld, I think that would cause a riot. As much as creepers are the like the Minecraft mob, like everybody in the world pretty much recognizes a creeper face as Minecraft. Um, I still think Minecraft would, they'd get a lot, they'd get a, a lot of people upset. <laughs> wow, look at that. The bots have arrived. We've been streaming long enough for the bots to arrive. I'm gonna look my look cute in a warp forest though. Mm-hmm. 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 It's true. It's true. Okay, this is the last TNT. Make it a good in. Final TNT we have is. down woo yay tnt wow tnt's gone yay okay so how much did we even get done on this because i don't know ow right nearly nine stacks of tnt gone and we're like 60% of the way done with a quarter. <laughs> I'm going to need a lot more TNT. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more TNT. Eat maybe? Eating's important. Yeah. Is there a faster way to do this? I mean, this is decent. This is decent, but you're going to still miss some. Flossing the ceiling is just pain. I also think I might be going bigger than I need to because it's a 128 radius, right? Not, no, 128 in every direction, like 128 blocks away. Yeah, okay. No, I'm going to the right size that I need to be. Let's see, does this work pretty well? The problem is I'm going to miss so many 
that I'm gonna have to come back and do them. But we can try this for now. Let's finish off at least like from here to there. Let's just do that. See how long it takes with the pick. I don't care about saving any of this netherrack. So it's fine. pretty easy but I'm definitely worried about missing a bunch in the roof that I don't know is this <laughs> has it's anybody real. done this before is it or exteriors from no name 114 able <laughs> Jaden thank you for the dodo again <laughs> uh interiors are ex I mean I like building exteriors I like to make a world and I as much as I would love to spend time doing interiors I just I have more fun designing houses and the outside spaces, little workstations for people to go at, and I just don't think there's a many great interior decorating options in Minecraft for like what I would want to do. So I just feel like a lot of my interiors turn very samey, so I get kind of bored making them. I do want to continue with them though. I, th I think what we started on Empires doing the interiors on streams after people, I think is a good way to go. Um. So I definitely want to do some more of that. And then maybe, after, I think after the Empire's City is done in there and we get that stuff decorated, then we'll start doing the interiors in the Hardcore City. Just tackling some of them. Some people have some awesome stories that like gave me a lot of inspiration for how to do the interiors. So I've been reading through those a bunch and getting a bunch of ideas and kind of saving some comments as places for us. Like, hmm, yeah, this one was, this is how somebody talked about doing this one. I like that idea, so kind of trying to keep some more ideas in the brain but we'll see we'll see okay it's actually not that bad when we only have the two blocks here this is actually pretty easy to get through so maybe maybe it is good to do this I don't know does this seem faster you have a small tree you do have a small tree it'll grow I'm not good at houses, but I like doing landscapes, like making paths and forests. Making a good path in Minecraft is just ah, so good. Just make a nice little pathway. Oh, best thing ever. Seems faster. Okay, maybe we wasted an hour. <laughs> All right, we'll try this for a bit. At least until this pickaxe gets near broken, we'll try this. then I will just turn on some Netflix this afternoon and finish out that other half. <laughs> I won't make y'all sit here with me. I was only planning to stream like two hours today, so we'll go for another 40 or so and see what happens. So I still want to stream tomorrow and I don't want to kill myself. My voice is still a little rough from all the smoke that was in. I just haven't fully recovered from that. It's unfortunate, but maybe soon. And all the dry air. Fall hit like a truck here in hey, the real. Seattle area. Did you rig the pig rice? Oh. Did I rig it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I rigged it. No, they're just inferior pig riders. You can't beat a goblin at pig riding. I don't know what to tell you. Also, I think some of them didn't read that some of the... In that the top row of fishing rods that were in that chest were unbreaking three so you could keep spamming so i think it's really on them for not picking the right fishing rod at least because i think scott's broke right scott's broke during the race but no jenny thanks so much for the donut. i appreciate that Okay, yeah, this actually is going pretty quick. You just kind of spin. Just keep spinning. What are the plans? Once I clear out this entire place, I, I want to make the platform in the middle, and then I want to make it look like some big old chains are coming in and holding it up. So it's not just a floating farm. 
And then if I can, without ruining the farm, I think doing some glass stuff around it would be also really cool. Basically, I'm just gonna need a lot of sand and a lot of deep slate. I think deep slate for the chains will be cool. Get some like polished deep slate in there or something so it's a bit brighter. Kind of looks like a darkened iron almost at that point. So close to 100k on the second channel. I know, it's really getting there. It's like, it's probably close to 95 now. It was a 94.7 this morning or something. I'll have to come back later and just <laughs> do a second round. <laughs> You're like, did I get them all? I think. I think I got them all. Because if this is quicker, which it does seem like it is, doing this instead of the um, TNT means that I don't need as much TNT. Because I still got to explode this land and bring it down at least like 12 or 13 blocks so that I can then run the TNT dupers over the top. And then after that, it comes the pain of trying to remove the lava from below as the TNT dupers are going. Cause so I want to do the, I want to do the old school TNT, not the one that I normally make, but where you do like the row where we're going to have dupers along this entire line here. And we just churn them all at once and just go boo, 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 boo. I think it would look so cool for a video. So I really, I really want to try that. Just see how many I can chain together at once. We'll see. Ah, I see you. many skeletons oh my gosh it really is peaceful <laughs> minus the skeletons constant threat of shooting you being out here and just like mining all the nether right kind of peaceful so i you get it i feel like for me at least i get in one of those like just chilling i'm just chilling and breaking my nether egg. the only priority is making sure that the pickaxe doesn't break as well because i lost one yesterday Is everyone okay in the San Jose area? We just had a 5.1 quake. Stay safe out there. Oh, wow. And Moss on log. Log on Moss. I like you put the the, the important message at the end. <laughs> Stay safe, everybody. I hope you all are doing okay down there. That sounds awful. I feel like California, at least the entire West Coast, is just like waiting for all these quakes to be happening. They've been saying a massive earthquake is coming to Pacific Northwest for years, so. At the point where I'm like, I'll believe it when I see it. It's gonna be epic, I hope so. As long as the farm works, that that'll I'll be a happy I'll be a happy flip. Otherwise we do all this for nothing. I have verified that the place that I want to build the farm is spawnable for wither skellies, so... Hey, the fortress! We can see it! Oh my gosh! I can see my fortress from here! Take 
pickaxe. I, it's, I know it's, it's a little low, but we still got time. We still got time. We still got orange in it. There's, it's not even red yet. This is so much faster. Hey, for real. Do you plan on putting anything underneath the city? Maybe the village you covered up could be mole people. <laughs> mole people. <laughs> I thought that said old people for a second. I was just like, yes, we just put the old people underground. That, yep. Once you turn 60, sorry. Sorry, Grandpa, you're going to live underground. No. Um, I've thought about it. I kind of want to do like a sewer system of sorts because that's always, I always think that's a fun project. But it's just going to kind of depend on where I get with it. I'm focusing above ground for now. Everything that I currently have planned is above ground and I'm sticking to that. And then if we need to, below ground will happen. I also want to turn below ground into like a copper aging facility of sorts. I think that'll be that'll be very important to have just somewhere just to age like two stacks of copper at once that's underneath it. That's like a flattened room. I don't think I'm going to go full David like what uh, Pix does for his copper aging facilities just because that seems pretty intense. But. I definitely want to do something. All right, where's the chest? They should be over there. We'll see. We'll see. Let's go get a new pickaxe. Getting so irritated by the pickaxe. Chill, 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 chill. It's still got 170 durability on it. Y'all are freaking out for nothing. We can break all of these and it's totally fine. You just got to watch your pickaxes once you get to netherite, once there's literally no color left in the bar. Once there's no color left in the bar, you can break a hundred blocks. Ish. With unbreaking three. Save a lot of money on burial costs. Yeah, exactly. You just like, just put them all, all the old people. They just go in the cave. <laughs> hey, for real. To be fair, it did save a lot of money on burial cost. I'm just saying. Just get, turn it all into like a giant sauna or something like that. Be like, all right, y'all just go enjoy your time down here, okay? It's a skeleton. Oh, he missed. Noob. This stream supposed to be PG. Uh, it's pretty PG. Willing to talk about topics because I think a lot of things are should be talked about that aren't talked about. But as far as language goes, yes, it is PG for the most part. Unless we're streaming Empires and Sausage comes over, then otherwise, yeah, it's PG. <laughs> Then from there, it's Cartoon Network PG. So still technically PG. Oh, this is gonna be pain. They're not really PG, but still technically PG. Technically, and technically is what matters. <laughs> Joel yeah if Joel comes on well that's that's Joel's own stream of peace
Joel streaming, he's just doing his own thing. Is he still building his lore village on streams? I haven't checked in on any of them. I haven't seen him streaming for a long time. I guess he's now just building his villages. <laughs> Scott plus sausage is extreme technically. No, that's not even technically at that point. That is how long can we keep Jimmy here and bother him without him running away? There's so much netherrack to break. I'm just in zombie mode. <laughs> also getting a little hungry. What are you doing? We are clearing the bedrock ceiling. Look at that, though. Halfway point. If we were to here, if we're to get all of that to about there, that's halfway for the first half. So 25% of the way. And then from here, I just need to get a lot of TNT and explode it, all going downwards. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be good. Oh, it's going to be so good. Oh, this is a big project. I'm bent on the grind, though. We'll stay on the, we'll stay on the grind. It's one of those times where I'm just like, I've been wanting a grindy block breaking project because I've been doing so many big building projects. Like the the end, the entry was more, actually I think it was more breaking than building. But since then I haven't really broken a lot of blocks in this world. Everything's been break blocks to gather to build. Uh, so it's kind of nice just clearing out a zone to work on a project. As much as I'm not a, like a techie farm building YouTuber, really, I still do enjoy the projects. I think they're fun. And they'll look back on a world and be like, yeah, we have this. Yeah, we have this. Okay, we have this. It just kind of adds more merit to the hardcore world. Being like, yep, also did this. Survived this project. Yep, did that one too. So we're going to try and speed run a Wither Skelly farm perimeter and building the farm itself. So hopefully we can actually get something cool in here. Very good question. Uh, are you counting how many times people are asking you what you're doing? Uh, I can't count over a hundred, so no, I, I lost track a long time ago. Lamp farm. Yeah, uh, if anybody asks chat for everybody who's here right now, tell them we're building a lamp farm. They can figure it out from there. This is all for lamps. I only have one lamp in this world. I need more lamps, okay? Also, I guess if we're doing a full perimeter, we could... Question, 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 question. Do we... Do we do a full nether, like, fortress farm? Like with blazes and magma cubes and all that included, or do we just do the wither skelly farm? Because that wouldn't be much different. It basically still the perimeter clearing out, and it just changes the build that we do. But that does mean blaze rods, magma cream. I guess we already get magma cream up above. There's a way that we can make it just blazes and magma cubes. That'd be great and i guess we get skeletons too for more bones well yes his views will be higher full fortress farm i'll look into scoping out some farm designs and see which would be better 
So I'm really, like, really, really after the Wither Skeleton drops. But I mean, if we're also getting Blaze Rods out of it... So I remember that one that, um... Uh, Iskal built a long, long time ago on an old Hermitcraft series season. Uh, they did, like, that thing was just pumping out mobs. I think that came from doing it. No, he didn't even dig a perimeter. He just slabbed it all. So maybe we'll see because that, that could be really intense. I get a world download i want to see the world inside game uh there's a world download from episode 20 available for everybody who is a supporter so if you want to become a member you can get the world download sunglasses right back to you i guess that was the next person which one would look cool yeah yeah it would look cooler i don't provide world downloads for free uh, i've had too many people steal my world and try and claim it as theirs and sell it for money uh so i'm I do apologize, blame the internet, but I don't like my work being stolen. So I don't give it out for free anymore. World download, you can convert it to Bedrock. I don't supply a Bedrock ed edition download, but there are free downloads online, or free websites online that you can use to convert a world. Um, OMG Chad has a great tutorial on how to do it. If you are looking to do it. it works like 90%, but not 100%. But that's just the way two different world file systems. So. We got in there. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Okay, I think we finished this strip and then I need to go see the Minecraft sky. <laughs> Not seeing a blue Minecraft sky for a while is starting to kill my brain. For the aesthetics, dude, the aesthetic lamps. Imagine if we came back in and just lamped everything on top. That could be cool. That'd be so laggy though. Oh my gosh, it'd be so laggy. I'm thinking a lot of soul fire decorations will be cool. Some like blue in the nether, some blue soul fire lamps, lanterns, sorry, not lamps. Soul fire lamps, lanterns. Pleased to meet you. Lamp turns. That'd be great, that'd be beautiful. Shan, thank you so much for the 10 months at tier two, my friend. I do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Earthquake in the barrier about half an hour ago. If we're you know, yeah, fun. Yeah, I, I'm rolling around. Hopefully you're okay, my friend. Hopefully y'all are okay down there. I have a few friends that live in the barrier. I'll have to text them. Are lamps leggy? Well, they're a light source, so they can cause lag. And I think because they're like a weird block shape, and they have more to them, they can cause more lag than like a torch. Also, we would need 128 by 128 by 100, 128 times 128. What's that? Somebody math. I can't, I don't click math on stream anymore. Y'all saw me try in Lizzie's game show and I absolutely failed. <laughs> Twenty-eight by 100. 16,000. 16, yeah, we need 16,000 lamps. We'd have to kill 16,000 withers to get enough lamps to cover this. So, yeah, there's no way we're ever covering this with lamps. I'd rather dig this entire place by hand than kill 16,000 withers for lamps. Think a yahoo. 
I kind of wanted to round this out, like make it more circular, but I just don't think that's really possible. Maybe if we ever want to, in the end, expand upon this project and build more out here, we can like expand the destruction section, but no. What do you think this video will be out? My goal would be next weekend, but you know, at the rate that this is going, I don't think it's going to be there. My, my goal today was to get half dug, like half of this dug. Like all of this up here, Doug, and East maybe that train. flattened Inquiry on the other side too. 5.1, four miles deep. Jeez, okay. Hopefully everybody's okay. I guess 5.1, I mean, bad, but not terrible. Here comes to the earthquakes. California's been prepared, hopefully. in there getting everything we can along this row okay ah we're missing some of the ceilings they're in the ceilings there's your horror movie bit for the day they're in the walls i'll come back to those i am lazy Shan, thank you so much for the dono again. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all the support, everybody. I really do appreciate it. We're still above 700 members, which is crazy. So thank you, everybody, for being here. Glad you all have been enjoying the streams, it seems like. Much more of a chill one today than we normally have, but... It's kind of Nash. It's kind of Nash. I don't get how people stream, like, eight hours a day and just, like keep doing things and like stay active the entire time i feel like that would kill me it'd be kind of i, I do kind of wish i could stream more but also i'm very glad that i'm more of a youtuber than a streamer it makes it so it's easier to take time off if you need it we're on streaming if you take time off you're just like and i make no money while i'm offline yay whereas youtube you still get views when you're not live which is great Looking, I'm looking for building advice. What is a good gradient for mud bricks? Uh, what I've been doing is mud brick, or mud, mud brick. You can get some dripstone if, in there if you want to. Depends on the route you want to go. You can use brown mushroom blocks. You can put in some terracotta, which then allows you to jump over into granites and, and uh, bricks and polished granites. And then you can kind of jump back into like a red palette from there. I've also been really enjoying contrasting it like harsh contrasting it with diorite, I think has been really cool because it's still kind of that messy, but whitish tone. You get those, some of those in there. Deep Slate actually works pretty well with it as like a border block too. Sandstones, sandstones work well. They get the same tone. Smooth sandstone for like a sticky outy bit on it. Spruce, drip spruce works really well. Oak. Jungle, actually, jungle and jungle planks too. They, I don't know. There's so there's so much you can do with mud brick. It's amazing. Mud brick was like the block that ne was needed to bring so many different color palettes together. That's why I love it so much. It's just it brought so many different like, of these like weird subcategories of browns and reds. You now have the jump between all of them, which is so nice. Don't think I've ever looked at bedrock for so long. Yeah, the only other time I did it for this long was when I was clearing out the... Whatchamacallit. Uh, the ceiling, the hole in the ceiling, because that took me like a solid eight hours. That was just an eight hour grind of bedrock breaking. It was so bad. <laughs> but I was like, I'm doing it. I w I've always wanted to do that. I've always wanted to make that giant hole in the ceiling. Which is so funny for me because I'm doing in this season. I've kind of been like, all right, what are projects that I've always wanted to do? Let's just do them. And that's kind of how I'm designing this hardcore season. It's just 
basically my Minecraft bucket list is stuff I'm doing in this season here. And now I'm just like, I'm completing all these things on my Minecraft bucket list. What am I going to do if season four comes around? Like, I got to find a new bucket list to achieve. Or I got to redo them. And so many things like the end tree. I'm just like, I never want to clear the end islands again. No, that was 40 hours of obsidian breaking. I'm never going to get back. <laughs> But we'll see. Hopefully that doesn't happen anytime soon. Give me another like year, maybe two years in this world, and then I'll be like, you know what? Another end island could be cleared. Once I've forgotten about the pain of the first one. Item of strands with buckets of tropical fish all the type. How's that for a bucket list? You must like pain. You you must also just really enjoy pain and like things like collecting notch apples and sorry, enchanted golden apples. And all those. Like you just you have to really enjoy pain at that point. Yeah, that would, I do wish there was an easier way. Like if the bucket textures were all unique, which I know would be so much work for Mojang to do, but it would be kind of fun. There's like, there's so many of those tropical fish in this world though. There's so many of them. You've just described childbirth. <laughs> never even begin to relate to that on like a level of pain and what you all got to go through heroes okay there's that we got a bunch over here tried collecting all the tropical fish from the girlfriend one Damn, it was a long list. There's like 1,500, I think. There's I there's over a thousand different types of tropical fish in the game. I'm pretty sure at one point they were just like, let's just throw it into an AI. <laughs> let's just use an AI to produce all these unique little models with their textures, because whoever made all the textures, just so many. Yeah, we're working on a lamp farm. We could also use this and set up fishermen villagers and trade the coal to fishermen for emeralds. <gasps> I could build a fishing village. <sighs> and I could build a bamboo farm and we could put a bunch of Fletchers somewhere. Rip Fletcher Fletching table actually doing something. Maybe one day. 2,700 naturally occurring variation. 3,478. Okay, I was way off yeah if you put 3400 item frames in one area and your world doesn't corrupt amazing if you must real, be the chosen one must be nice having different hermitcraft related questions nowadays it's no longer when are you joining hermitcraft and more when is hermitcraft joining you Lol. all right brenna all right brenna i don't know what you're talking about yeah, it's uh it's it's the questions have changed. The questions have changed. Thank you very much have honestly though, if anybody was there for their charity live stream on Sunday, y'all they raised four hundred thousand dollars. That's absurd. I'm so happy for them. Their goal was twenty five thousand dollars and they raised four hundred and thirty thousand. Like that is absurd. <laughs> so i i'm so happy for him that's so cool i know scar has put in so much effort to try and get that thing going i'm i'm it's really cool seeing what's happened with it are you making a perimeter yeah we're making a lamp farm a lamp and glow stick farm apparently we're getting lamps and we're getting glow sticks that's that's the goal 
What was this project? Lamp farm. That's what I'm going to start doing for the pin message in the future. Instead of saying to subscribe to my second channel, I'm just going to say lamp farm. I'm just going to put the project title in the there and say lamp lamp farm. Goblin city. Goblin city interior decorating. Trolling Empire's members. Even the glow sticks? Maybe. Maybe. People are... We, I, if we do this whole perimeter and only build a Wither Skelly farm, sure, the Wither Skelly farm would be really good. But we could also build just a full nether mob farm. Then we get that. And then all I'd have to do is if I make the floor out of moss, if I want it to become just a Wither Skelly farm, I just have to go put Wither Roses on top. So maybe we'll see we'll see it could be a big project but it could be fun lamp farm is happening for sure where's the torch torch right so we're going this way oh wow yeah i really got way off track holy cow Slowly beginning of the lamp farm. You should do more stream after school hours. I stream on a can during the day. I get busy with life at in the afternoons, evenings. So I'm trying to keep streams during what would be a work hour for me. I like to have my evenings off, so hopefully this time works for you. If not, I do apologize, but VODs are always available on the second channel. I've, I've thought about doing some more afternoon streams, but I think if we do afternoon streams, it's going to be more like Twitch, just playing random games and things, because it's more chill and relaxed and whatnot. Who knows? The new WoW pre-patch is out. I want to play. just want to play games I'm very much in a stint right now where I'm like I could work or I could just play fun video games not that Minecraft isn't fun but I could just play every other game on my Steam backlog yeah you turn every live stream into a VOD yeah they all go on flip too usually within the week Sometimes YouTube takes forever to process the VOD, and I want to wait until it gets processed completely so I can download the 1080p quality, and sometimes it takes them like two days to do it, which is annoying. Um, so as soon as the VOD processes completely, that's when I upload it, re-upload it over to Quip2, and then it's usually live within a, within a day. The lamps might explode. No exploding lamps. But speaking of exploding, think about how much ancient debris we're going to get out of this place. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yo, oh, excuse me. Sorry. All right. I have to look at this because we opened the menu. We're almost at 400,000 uses on netherite pickaxes. Times mind, almost 100,000 on the netherrack. Okay. Woo! Keep the train rolling. Lamps over moss on log. Think about it. Lamp on log. I'm just saying. Just let that settle in for a second. Just let the lamp on log settle in for a quick moment. On log, I'm just saying it flows pretty well. You know, picks his frog light orchard, lamp orchard.
I really thought I was going to get away from using my pickaxe for a little while. I was like, yeah, I could just go gather sand and make some more TNT, and it'll be fine. Like, I got unlimited gunpowder. The to gas too. farm is always producing. Nah, fam. We need, uh, apparently, a lot of pickaxe repairing. I need something better than the Enderman farm. I, I, I'm I spending too much time sitting at the Enderman farm. It's turning into pain. Southern Lassie with the nine months moss on lamp on log. All right, now we're getting a little too crazy here. We need to tone that. Just like, bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> Southern Lassie, thank you. thank you so very much for the nine months. I do appreciate that. We're getting so many nine month three members now. I, I guess it has, we're in October. So it's been nine months I started streaming on YouTube. So I, I do appreciate it, everybody. December is going to be a big tree month. We're going to have so many trees. I like want to do all these things for like, hey, let's uh, let's start a member goal where every single time somebody or a member thing where somebody whenever somebody hits a year, like let's do something. And I'm, I've thought about now that we got the tree thing, like building a custom tree in whatever world I'm in. But then I'm just like, I would be building custom trees forever. <laughs> like they'd have to be little guys. They'd have to be little spindly dudes. <laughs> Why nine? Tree! Yep, trees. Because otherwise, December is just going to be tree building month. Because December or January are going to be when we have a lot of 12 month ones coming in. And I know I've already missed some, but it could be funny. You left some netherrack behind? Yep. Yeah. I'm kind of just finishing this pickaxe off. And then I'm going to go get some lunch. <laughs> And then I'll come back. I want to go check on Sid, too. She is not feeling that well today. Pleased to meet you. Ooh. Chaotic William with the two months. Thank you so very much, my dude. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm doing well. I'm doing well today. Thank you. It's one of those days where I'm just like... I just wanted to get in and grind on a project, so I do appreciate y'all hanging out with me. It's one of those chill Minecrafting days. We'll probably be streaming again tomorrow working on this, but hopefully more fun things. Hopefully much more fun things. I think tomorrow we'll start with some sand gathering, because I hope today... Let's see what, this took two hours to get here. It'll take me three hours to clear that out. Another two hours for the rest of this but maybe now that'll be faster because i'm not doing the explodey the tnt so i think if i really work hard on this and just keep the grind going today maybe while i'm digging i also do the up above and then i just have less walking time i think that'll be the quickest way to get it all done and just not bother about storing any of it I think I can do it all today. And then tomorrow, we start with gathering a bunch of sand. We get all of our gunpowder. So maybe I'll AFK the gas farm for a bit tonight. But I don't like to AFK much in this world. So maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and while that's going on, then we start digging this down. Because we need to get this down like 15 blocks so that I can start the TNT machine. So they won't pop back up and explode uh, the machine itself. Because then we have to rebuild them all. We'll see. Pleased to meet you. Fonzie, thank you so much for becoming a member. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank thank you. It's going to be like 200,000 netherrack mine for this. I will say, it does feel good to have another item above obsidian mined. That does feel very good. This, yesterday, was down here. It was at like 30,000. <laughs> Do you like horror movies? Hate them. Absolutely despise them. I don't do anything horror. I don't play scary video games. I don't even like scary movie commercials. I turn them off. If I'm watching a YouTube video and it's somebody decides that I should be the one to receive the scary movie advertisement, I just put my phone down until the ad goes away. I just, I don't do scary movies. <laughs> 
They make it so I can't sleep. And so I don't like them. Because I like my sleep. I'm a baby. <laughs> I'm just a baby. What about thrillers? Nope. Nothing. No scary movies in the slightest. Stranger Things is almost too much for me. Uh, speaking of scaries. Ow. Oh, it's... Ooh. It's getting a lot harder to fly in here when I don't have a ceiling to glide against. I missed douche. God damn it. Okay. Right. That's pretty toasted pickaxe. Okay, there's another shulker full. Nice. And another dead pickaxe. Woo, yay, pickaxes, yay. <laughs> Let's get out of the nether for a bit. Okay. Where's my rockets? There we go. We're going what? East. We're going west. Mm. F. I think it's over here and down. Yes. Oh, I'm almost dead. Probably don't want that. Perfect. Touch grass. We're going to touch grass right now. Have the golden fish. Oh, I'm getting better at this little flight. Mm, I need to bring that ceiling up just a little bit. Look at that. Clean. Ah, spookies. Spooky scary skeletons. I was trying to sleep. Ah, blue sky, some clouds, a beautiful day. What's your playtime? We're at day 2,358 now. And that translates into 21.15 days. Yay. That's a lot of hours. We're... We're above 500 hours survived now. That's pretty cool. You know, we have our city to show for it. I love this. I'm so happy with this. I'm so excited to continue working on it. I want to do something. I'm trying to not kill myself on it and make myself absolutely hate the project, which is why I'm doing the Wither Skelly Farm next. Because I don't want to do like back to back to back to back to back to back crazy city expansions like this guy. Like everything in here, mine after the wall, this was all one. This was all last episode. If you missed it, um, so I j I don't want to like do this every single episode, and because that'll burn me out real quick. So doing the other projects in between is really really fun. You should build a fountain. Yeah, I want to do a cool fountain here soon. I love this strip though. This is uh, this is I love this one. Vanilla cape looks good. dope. Yeah, I really love this this cape that we got. I kind of trade between it and the 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 other one that they gave out. But I like them. I like this one a lot. I was surprised I got it. To be honest, I was like, wait, what? I qualified? Huh? I didn't know that. But okay. Love the different roofs. Yeah, the raw copper and raw iron one. This guy, I kind of want to do another one. I think another one of that would be really fun, like back there, because otherwise it's alone. And so I need to get another. So I think whatever building goes like right along here will be the next. Let me see if I have the plan. I can show you all this. This is my rough, rough layout for it. Uh, display catcher. This is the absolute roughest layout ever for it. So I'm thinking like 
a big square in here. I want to do like another big building there. We'll have another one back up here. What we've built that, we've built this guy. I ended up kind of taking this out, so I might build on top of it. But so this guy might just come across a little archway there. I thought would be cool. We got a big like kind of di curving building back here. This one I want to redo and do something grander than that. I think it'd be fun, but we'll see. So this is this is kind of where it started and everything from like here, and then I guess that yeah. So everything like here is done and we'll get the big plaza and everything in there so we'll see that's where i'm going with it but who knows what'll happen things change there's a reason why it's uh <laughs> only done in a photoshop picture and drawing on top of instead of laying things out here on the ground because it's all going to change a bunch as it goes like a maze or garden off of it maybe i want this to be a really cool big open flat plaza I'm going to use glow like and light it up so it's still flat and everything. It still looks nice. Um, and so that should be pretty cool. And then we'll, I want to do like a bit wider building. I'm thinking from like the width of those two flower beds is how wide this building is and kind of stacks up with a bunch of roofs coming up to like a central tower. I think could be cool. Yeah, we've also got all these interiors and everything in here. We shall see. You actually know Lizzie? Yeah, she came to my wedding. Do you actually follow me on Instagram? Because you would have seen pictures of us together. <laughs> Can you solve a Rubik's Cube? Not quickly. Hey, for real. I've done it once. Maybe you could call the tavern something like the Blind Warden. Ooh, that's a cool name. I like that. Aries, thank you so very much for the donor. I appreciate that and the idea. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll see. We'll see on all that. For now, we focus with your skelly farm. That's a good idea, though. I like that. That's fun. Minecrafty, but like, still cool. Not just like call it the warden tavern, the blind warden. I like it. I like it. Are you gonna build a church? We're gonna have a shrine to the tree, like a great tree shrine. And that episode is also getting rid of the snow layers and stringing the entire top and then also i want to expand the leaves out going probably like twice as far as they are so that's gonna be a huge video but it's not gonna be like a big church it's gonna be a shrine i think it'd be fun but i'll tell you what folks i think that's it for today i'm gonna go get some lunch give my voice a rest and get back in here and get back on the grind because we've got a lot and i mean a lot of netherrack to clear out so thank you all so very much for being here i really do appreciate it y'all are absolutely amazing thank you thank you for all the support today and my webcam is freezing. Cool. Nice, 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 nice. But thank you so very much for being here. I really do appreciate y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all are absolutely amazing. If you just got here, I do apologize. I got to run and go grab some lunch. Um, y'all are amazing. Have a good day. Be nice to everybody out there. And uh, send around some good vibes. I do appreciate it. But with that, my friends, I'm out of here for now. So I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Bye!